Shalom Abracha. I would like to wish to all of you Hak Sameach, Buyut, Be'ezot Hashem. Be'ezot Hashem, we prepare ourselves for Simchat Torah. And of course, now we are in the middle of, uh, of uh, Sukkot. So the question is, why Simchat Torah is after Sukkot? This is something that we have to understand. And, uh, when we pray on Yom Tov, we said, Atabehatanu mikulamim, Hashim, you choose us from all nations because you give us the Torah. And uh, we have to understand that every day, every day, every single day, we repeat to Hashem, thank you Hashem, that you choose us to give, to give us the Torah. So, the question is, that uh, one of my, uh, my students asked me, Rabbi, but Hashem didn't choose us, we choose him, because when Hashem proposed the Torah to all nations, they don't want to accept it. Or we did accept it. So, we, we were the first to say to Hashem, So, Hashem, He didn't, he didn't choose us. He, of course, okay. He chose us. Like, before He, before he, he, he proposed us the Torah, He proposed it to all nations. So what that means, you choose, you choose us. The answer is that really when we say that Hashem choose us, we are talking about, about Abraham, Isaac, Yaakov. That Hashem choose the Holy Patriarch. We are the descendants of the, of the Patriarch. And don't forget that before we left Egypt, the only reason why Hashem He gave us the freedom from Egypt, it's only because He wanted to give us the Torah. Without the Torah, Hashem did need us. So only that Hashem He chose the, patri the patriarch, he thought that Bnei Israel were born. And beside this, we should not forget that the only reason why Hashem gave us the freedom from being uh, slaves to the Egyptian because, he gave, because of the Torah. As Hashem he said to the Moshe Rabbeinu, tell the Bnei Israel bef before you leave Egypt, you have to know that I bring you, I give you the freedom only to receive the Torah. That, so that means that already Akash Shmokhi chose us before he gave us the Torah. When Hashem proposed to the nation the Torah, it's only because they, that they will not tell him one day why he didn't propose as the Torah. So Hashem knew that the nation will say no. Because he knows that uh, the Torah is the Torah. You must you understand to accept the Torah. I mean, you must have a back a background, and our background is we belong to Abraham. It's Hak Yaakov that they respected the Torah before. Hashem gives the Torah to the Jewish people. You understand? It's not. So, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, one of the reasons why uh, the Jewish people, this, Hashem said to Abraham that your descendants will be slaves, because Abraham Abin Arab Shalom, when Hashem when he heard that Hashem told him 
I, uh, I choose you, I choose your descendant. So Abraham Abinu was worried. He said, Hashem, how would I know that you would always choose my descendant? Maybe you would change them. There is many nations. Why only my nation? May, why, why only my descendant you choose only my descendant? Maybe there is more, there is a lot of nations. Maybe maybe one day you will change your mind and uh, you will change under the nation more than my descendants. And Hashem said, no, I will give you a proof that your descendants I choose them because they will be slaves. The one in the, it's in the, in the nation and they will suffer there and they will not be assimilated because I'm putting them. This is, the, this is the proof that I will never change your descendants because of you, Abraham. Because you, Abraham, you are a tzaddik. I promise you, I will never change your descendants. And the proof here that they will be slaves in, in, in another nation and they will suffer there. And even that they will suffer, they will not, they will not assimilate to that nation and not only that after 400 years I will deliver I will give them freedom from that nation and I will give them the Torah so that means my friend that Hashem chose us a long long time ago before Hashem he proposed the Torah to any nation and he proposed the Torah to the Jewish people don't forget what Hashem he proposed the Torah to the Jewish people, it's only He proposed them to receive, to accept the circuit of the Torah and the Torah itself. Because the Jewish people, they said, enough for us. The Torah that you give us, the Torah what you give us. But the circuit of the Torah, we don't need it because we believe, we believe on you, we trust you. We don't need uh, the circuit of the Torah. I mean, we, we trust you, Hashem. No, Hashem, he said, no, I want you to receive, to accept the Torah and the circuit of Torah. Why Hashem, he wanted the Bnei Israel to, to receive even the circuit of Torah? Because Hashem, he wanted that the whole Torah will come down. Not only the Torah and the circuit of the Torah will remain on the Shamaim. Because Hashem, he wanted that Torah of Shamaim. Hashem wanted that the whole Torah will be part of the Jewish people in this world. And Hashem didn't want that the Torah will be separated apart here and apart there. No, Hashem, and besides this, Hashem knows that to understand the Torah, we need the circuit of the Torah. Okay, it's like a, where, uh, when you go to a restaurant, you have a menu. Why, why you need the menu that you have all kind of food? We don't need. We trust that whatever we want, we we'll get it. No. The Hashem, Hashem wanted that the whole menu will be here, so you don't have that. We know that there is no nothing that one day you need to understand something the Torah, and to understand it you need the circuit of the Torah, but. The circuit of the Torah are up there, so you, you will never understand. So that's why Hashem, it was very important for him that the whole menu of the Torah, and the, the, the Torah, the Torah, the Torah that, that we have today, and the circuit of the Torah that, that is the Zohar, it's all in the menu. So there is nothing that one day you don't understand something and you... You will never understand it because the circuit of the Torah, to understand it, you need the circuit of the Torah. And the circuit, uh, circuit of the Torah are not here, are up there. So, so my friend, that's why Hashem forced the, Jew, the Jewish people to accept the circuit of the Torah because he told them, one day you will need it. And uh, Baruch Hashem, we did accept it. Baruch Hashem, that Hashem forced us. It's like uh, somebody that is not well, and uh, you give him a medication, and it, he said, "I don't need it. I will. Uh, I can be. Uh, I, I will be all right without uh, this medication." And the doctor forced you. No, you need it because with that medication, you will get well quick.
you get you get you, you will be quick. Uh, you will get well very very quick. So they understand, my friend. This is uh, the reason why the Torah said, "Asher b'har b'lu mikol ha'amim." You know that always we say that Hashem chooses us. So the question is, okay, Hashem chooses us, but it's uh, uh, really if He chooses us only because we accept it. We accept the Torah because the, the other nations they, they don't want to accept the Torah. So, so, uh, so, uh, so. It's not Hashem who chose us, Hashem b'harbanu b'kol amin, v'natalanu et Torato on the on the holidays, the Amida. We said Ata b'chatanu b'kol amin chose us from all nation. How do we know that Hashem chose us? It's we, it's we, the Jewish people, who choose Amis Hakadosh Baruch Hu. So the answer is before Hashem, before Hashem give us the, the Torah. He already, by choosing Abraham, it's Hak Yaakov, so he chose his descendant. And beside this, he protected his descendant from Egypt, not to be assimilated. So, long time ago, he chose us. And beside this, before we left Egypt, we left Egypt because Hashem chose us and to give us the Torah. And beside all this, already in Egypt, Akash Baruch Hu gave us mitzvot, the Brit Milah, the Korban Pesach, the the to to that all our Jewish holidays are based on the moon. So Rosh Chodesh. So we understand that really now Akash Baruch Hu really he chose us to give us the Torah. So my friend, now we understand. The connection between Simchat Torah and the, the all the meaning between Simchat Torah and, and Sukkot, we know that Sukkot is uh, is after Kippur, and you know there is a preparation for Rosh Hashanah and Kippur. It's Rosh, the month of Elul. The month of Elul, we did a big teshuvah in the month of Elul to prepare ourselves. For Rosh Hashanah, the day of the judgment, and Kippur. So it's all preparation. And what it is the preparation for Sukkot? Why the preparation for Sukkot? It's Kippur. Because on Kippur, Hashem will forgive us. We have been judged already. Hashem will forgive us. Now Hashem wants to stay with us on, uh, on Sukkot. But Sukkot is Shmuel Shivat Yamim. Sukkot, it's the meaning that Hashem, that's why Sukkot, it is Mas Mechatenu. On Sukkot, it's a, it's a time of, of, of joy. Why? Because Rosh Hashanah and Kippur, we are not very close. Hashem is not so close to us. It's true that on Rosh Hashanah and Kippur, Hashem is close to us, but not very, very close like Sukkot. On Sukkot, HaKadosh Hu is very close because he's there. He's sitting there with Abraham, it's Hagakov. So, we don't see them, but we know why they are here. It's like uh, the, when you see the palace of the king. You know, you don't see the king, but you see the palace. You know he's there. So, my friend, of course, if you are invited to get inside, so you're lucky. My friend, on Rosh Hashanah and Kippur, we know that Hashem is outside, he's, he's, he's here, he, if you, we, we feel Him. But on Sukkot, we are invited. Because once that on Sukkot, like uh, the Baal Tanya said, Melech Basadeh, on Rosh Hashanah and Kippur, between the two, ten days, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, is, uh, he lives in the palace, and uh, he is uh, next to you. I mean, He's outside. You can, whenever you want to see him, you can reach him. But on Sukkot, according to our, our rabbis, on Sukkot, Hashem invites us to his house, to his palace, to the Sukkah. It's, it's, so, so that's why we're happy. This is a, the, the, the most happiness that we have. It's a Sukkah. That we are with Hashem. So, of course, 
now that we are, we are with Hashem and so forth. So Akash Rui said, wait, now I'll be with you on Rosh Hashanah, I'll be with you on Kippur, I'll be with you on Sukkot. Now I ask you a favor. Do me, give me a one day for me. I have given you all the month of Elul. I was with you. Rosh Hashanah, Kippur, Sukkot, I was with you, with you. Now, I want to one day for me. You give me one day. I was for you. Now I want you to be with me. So Hashem give us Simchat Torah. Shmini Hagat Seri. And that day is for Hashem. So, so Hashem, He wants us to be with Him. So how can we? Hashem give us everything during all this month and a half. Elul and uh, more and 28, 21 days of Vitor uh, Shana and Sukkot. Now, Hashem asked us to give him one day for him. So how can we be one day with him? So this is the top of happiness. That's why we call it Simchat Torah. Simchat Torah is the happiness. What what pleasure can we give to Hashem on Shmini Chag Aratzeret, the holiday after the day of after Sukkot, with the Torah? Thank you, Hashem, with the Torah that you give us, Simcha Torah. My friends, a lot of tzaddikim. We we hear we heard a lot a lot of tzaddikim. For them, Simcha Torah it's a it's an incredible day. It's a day that not only of happiness, it's a, it's a day of, uh, of uh, simcha, simcha Torah. I would like just to tell you something. I was reading a big rabbi, Rabbi, uh, rabbi Ichel Michel Stern. He said that, uh, that the, on Volojin, On Volojin, Rabchaim Volojin, his heritage from his Rebbe, the Gaumi Vilna, is really to sing Baruchu Elokeinu. That Hashem should be blessed, that He is our God. Baruchu El Shibra'anu Lechvodo, that He created us for Himself, for His Kavod. Baruchu Elokeinu Shibra. And what, what, what you give us Torah? Baruchu elokeinu shibam lechvodo. Baruchu elokeinu shibam lechvodo. Ivdilanu min betal min atalanu Torah temet bichaye oilam nata betochenu. I mean. Thank you, Hashem, that you choose us, that you give us the Torah. Thank you, the Torah, the Torah. It's through the Torah, we feel different from others. The way we, the way we, we respect Torah and mitzvot. And all night we've been singing that song. And that, that the, the song that the generation of the Gobi Bina, that's what they've been singing till now. And of course, Abraham Vulujin Allah Shalom as well. And his yeshiva, that's what they were singing. And so my friend, this is a this is Simha Torah. The Simha Torah, thank you Hashem that you give us the Torah. This is Hashem we want that we give you one day. The day that I give you, yes. The meaning of that day to thank you for the Torah that you give us. This is, you know, my friend, there is two kinds of Simcha Torah. The day that we receive the Torah, it's on Shavuot. But on Simcha Torah is the day that we thank Hashem, that He built us, He built our life through the Torah. And I would like, my friend, to, 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 to finish with a beautiful story. There was a, a big, uh, a big rabbi that before he passed away, he gave his children 
to uh, to his son he told him this is my children and uh, keep them don't uh, keep them use them there is a lot of brachot to those feelings so once the rabbi passed away a lot of rich people they knew about that feeling that he left to his son they wanted to buy that feeling but his son would never buy that feeling so there was a millionaire that came to 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 the son of the rabbi he said i'm willing to pay six hundred thousand uh, uh, pieces of gold for the children of your father. He said no. That rich, that rich man, he went to his wife. He told his wife, the wife of the son of the rabbi, I want to buy the tefillin from your husband. Your, your husband is a poor man. With the money that I'm going to, to give him, there is enough money to, to live a few years. And besides this, he can get the best feeling if you want. So the wife, she waited for an occasion to talk to her husband. And she told her husband, there is, we live like a poor people. There is a man who wants to give you a thousand pieces of gold. Send it to him so we can enjoy life. And the husband, he said, no, I can't. When you married me, you knew that I was poor man. And I will not sell, sell my Alamaba, my Gan Eden, to for money. And besides this, after 120 years, when we pass away, we'll be together in Alamaba with the zikhut of this trillion. How can I sell this trillion? Okay, she did not, she accepted. One day, there were no etrog in the city. There were no at all in the city. So it was a big, big, big problem because no at all. And there was a man who came. He had free at all, the best of the best. But he wanted a big money. Two would have been sold for 1,000 pieces of gold. It remained one. So the son of the rabbi really wanted this this etrog but the only way to get the etrog he has to sell the tefillin of his father for 1000 pieces of gold so that's what he did he told the tefillin he wanted the rich man you want to buy my, the tefillin of my father 1000 pieces of gold he said yes he got the money he went and he paid for the etrog he came home with a beautiful etrog, the best of the best, and his wife, she told him, you happy? Yes, I'm happy. I bought this etrog. Wow, she looked at it. How much she cost? Thousand pieces of gold. How did you get the money? I sold the feeling of my father. You sold the feeling of your father for this etrog? For this? That means we could have money for a few years to live and for this etrog that you will use it only seven days and after it, it was it was nothing that what you paid she got very angry and she took the etrog and the, you know what she did she gave a bite to the etrog now the etrog were not even a penny not even a sense nothing now the husband was so angry, he said to himself, Hashem, he give us Sukkot to be happy. Hashem, he give us Sukkot to pray with the Etrog. And there is another mitzvah, not to get angry, just to shout your mouth and not to answer. I lost everything. So at least if I lost everything, I lost the etrog, the, the, the chin of my father, I lost the etrog, but I will not lose the happiness of Sukkot. He did not answer his wife, and he told his wife, 
I'm sorry. Hashem, he will help us. And she carry on yelling at him at the end. She understood what she understood what she did. And she asked her husband, sorry. And her husband said, it's okay, Baruch Hashem. I'm in peace with you. This is the Simcha Zman Simcha Tenu. The Simcha of, of, uh, of Sukkot, not only food, to, to be happy that Hashem is with you. So don't destroy the, this happiness of Sukkot, this happiness of Simcha Torah. Hashem bless you. And Shana Tova Mitukha. Amen.